formation is something that every business owner should understand. It means forming a corporation, a limited liability company, a partnership, some sort of legal entity. And lawyers are really concerned about this because it protects the client. The main purpose, one of the main purposes of corporate formation is to create what's called a liability shield. And that shield protects the client's personal assets from liabilities that might arise out of the business. That can be huge. It can be just huge. You can have a slip and fall, you can have malpractice, you can have a huge judgment against your business. And you want the business to pay for that. You don't want your, you don't want to lose your house, your vacation home, your savings for your child's college. You want that liability shield for safety. There are different kinds of entities. There are corporations, there are limited liability companies, there are partnerships, there are Two, there are two different kinds of corporations, C corporations and S corporations. For a small business, a startup business, really, in my view, you're looking at two different possibilities, an S corporation or a limited liability company. And the reason you're interested in those two is that they give you the liability shield, but they have flow through taxes. So it helps you with respect to taxes. Let's talk about the difference between a sole proprietorship and an LLC. Many people like the idea of a sole proprietorship because you don't have to do anything. You don't have to form an entity. You just start your business, you report it on Schedule C of your income tax return. A limited liability is a legal entity, but if it's just one person owning it, it's a single member LLC and it is reported on Schedule C. So you have the same tax effects, but if you have a single member LLC, you have the liability shield. The difference between the, the liability shield with respect to sole proprietorships and LLCs is that a sole proprietorship doesn't have one, and the limited liability company does. If you have a business that you are running as a sole proprietorship. You've got a store, you're selling goods, you have a slip and fall and you're sued and you lose the case. That judgment will come out of not only your business assets but your personal assets. You will have to pay that judgment out of your savings and it could force you into bankruptcy. We've talked a little bit about forming an entity so you have a liability shield. That's not all you have to do. You actually have to maintain the entity as a separate legal entity, separate from yourself. You own it, but it is different from you. So it has its own bank accounts. It files its own returns sometimes. It is run by a manager, you, and when you sign documents on behalf of the LLC or corporation, you sign it as an officer or a member or a governor you never sign it just in your name, you use the name of the entity. You're telling the public that it is an entity and that you have a liability shield and then if they do business with you, they've acknowledged the liability shield. And one of the really important things you have to remember is that it's a separate legal entity and its assets are its own. It, those assets are not yours. You have to take it out the normal way as a distribution or if it's a corporation as salary or a dividend. You don't get to use the assets of your entity for your personal use. Very important, if you don't do these things, you lose the liability shield. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between C-Corps and S-Corps. They're both corporations under state law. That is only a difference created by the tax code. An S corporation is because it's created under subchapter S. All right, and what you get out of an S corporation, you have to make an election to become an S corporation, but what you get out of that is that the corporation doesn't pay taxes. The owners pay taxes. So there's just one level of taxation. If you have a C corporation, there are two levels of taxation, which means that the corporation makes money, pays taxes on it, say 30%, distributes profits as dividends to the owners and then the owners put those dividends on their return and pay taxes on the dividends again. So if you can do an S corporation, it's much better 
for tax purposes to do that. Now there are some specific rules about S corporations. You have to make an election. They can only have certain kind of a certain number of members, certain kinds of members can only have certain kinds of subsidiaries. Let's talk about use of entities. Sometimes people are very creative and entrepreneurial and they have different businesses. This liability shield works not just to divide, to protect you from liabilities of your businesses. It also works to protect your businesses from liabilities arising out of the other businesses. So it might be very appropriate to have more than one entity.